dear students today i'm with another concept of business economics and that is advertising elasticity of demand so let us understand advertising elasticity of demand advertising or promotional elasticity of demand measures the expected change in demand as a result of change in other promotional expenses it means that what kind of change is there in the demand of product with respect to whatever change is there in terms of promotional expenses incurred uh, like by advertising or any other medium so the demand for some goods is affected more by advertising such as demand for cosmetics we have seen in our daily life that when companies are going to increase expenditure on advertising the demand for cosmetics is going to increase more now let us understand how we can calculate advertising elasticity of demand the formula is very simple it is advertising elasticity of demand is equal to delta q upon delta a into a upon q where q is equal to quantity sold of good x a is equal to units of advertising expenses on good x delta q is the change in quantity sold of good x and delta a is equal to change in advertising expenses on good x so the elasticity of demand for a good should be positive because there is the possibility of extension of demand and market for good with advertising expenditure it means that if you find you calculate advertising elasticity of demand and you find the value is positive it means that whenever you are going to increase advertising or promotional expenditure you are going to have a positive increase in your sales or demand for the good the higher value of this elasticity the greater will be the inducement of the firm to advertise that product it means that if the value is higher the firm will spend more on more on advertising it is on the basis of advertising elasticity that a firm decides how much to spend on advertising a product it means that the concept of advertising elasticity of demand is of greater help to a business manager because through this he or she is able to take decision that whether we should increase the expenditure in advertising in order to get more sales or demand for that particular product in the market or not now see what are the different factors which influence advertising elasticity of demand the stage of product development what at what stage the product development is going on degree of competition how much competition you have in the market it is going to have influence on advertising elasticity of demand and then effect of advertising by rival firms what kind of advertising is being done how much are they spending on advertising it is also going to have influence on your advertising elasticity of demand now let us see and understand elasticity of demand for advertising with this example a business increased its advertising spending on product a by 15% product a sales recorded a 5% increase what is the promotional elasticity of demand for this particular product so let's see in first step you are going to calculate the percentage change in quantity demanded in and that is in case of this example it is 5% as you can see then second step is calculate the percentage change in spending on promotion it is 15% already given to you so percentage change in spending on promotion is 15% advertising elasticity of demand will be equal to 5% upon 15% it will be 0.3 so now we should analyze the result that why it is important because once you are going to analyze the result you are going to know that whether the advertising elasticity of demand is elastic or inelastic so if 
in this particular uh, is uh, we can see that the value has come to 0 0.3 which means that demand changes by 0 0.3 percent for every one percent change in spending on promotion that means whatever expenditure you are doing if you are going to increase it by one percent you are going to have 0 0.3 percent is uh, 0 0.3 percent change in quantity demanded of that particular product so what should be the business decision if the value is less than one that means if you are going to calculate advertising elasticity of demand and you find the value is less than one it shows that the demand for the product is not responsive to to change in advertising spending it will show you that if you are going to increase your expenditure on advertising you are not going to have response in terms of increase in demand for that particular product so and if you calculate advertising elasticity of demand and you find that the value is greater than one it means that the demand uh, for that particular product is highly elastic or you can say it will be more if you are going to spend more on advertising so if the value is less than one the company should not spend more money on advertising the elastic product but if you find that it is positive it is greater than one it is you can say a high value right then the company must spend amount more amount in terms of advertising the product in order to get more sales from the market so dear students i hope so that through this video your concept of advertising elasticity of demand is clear and thank you very much